The Way of Perfection, Teresa de Avila, Chapter 15. This is some of what she had to say in the chapter. The great good that lies in not excusing oneself, even when blamed without fault. Indeed, it calls for great humility to be silent at seeing oneself condemned without fault, unless, as I said, in some cases where not telling the truth would cause anger or scandal. The truly humble person must in fact desire to be held in little esteem, persecuted and condemned without fault, even in serious matters. We are never, never blamed without there being fault on our part, since the just man falls seven times a day and will be a lie to say we have no sin. Oh my Lord, when I think of many ways you have suffered, I don't know what to say about myself, nor do I know where my common sense was when I didn't want to suffer, nor where I am when I excuse myself. For when you have no other gain, that embarrassment of the person who after having blamed you sees that you are in fact without fault. This elevates us all more than ten sermons. For you begin to obtain freedom and don't care whether they say good or evil about of you, but rather think of what is said as though it were another's affair. In this chapter, she goes back again to Accepting wrong accusations, false accusations, false accusations against yourself. Unless, of course, um, it will cause some anger or scandal. You can, you can defend yourself. Accepting false accusations uh, brings such fruit. Um, it builds up humility. Um, she says something it's, it's something it's a way of mortification that will not harm you physically it will not harm your health and um, that will build you up spiritually enormously it will give you a chance to to be like Jesus when he was accused falsely she says only a, per a person of high perfection is able to do this and she, she, in her mind, she says, none of us are really, truly innocent. We've done something. That we have done something. Maybe not what we are accused of, but we're not truly innocent. Not like Jesus. Not like Jesus. And, um, and then she talks about how she herself fails in this virtue. Amen. Thank you and God bless.